I start seeds every couple of weeks during the winter, maybe every two to three weeks. It's nice to have something that uh, that's growing, that's sprouting all the time, something green, something new. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense to grow many seeds in the winter because you can't plant many of them outside, but you can plant some of them outside. So basically I have two things that I like to do during the winter. I like to uh, I like to start plants that will grow outside in the greenhouse or plants that I could grow indoors under grow lights. Uh, that's going to be just leafy greens mostly, lettuce, spinach, um, maybe some kale and bok choy. So I like to start those and you know, I'll grow them outside if I can. If I can't I'll move them inside and grow them some under grow lights. I also like to use this time, so this is really downtime, so this is a good time to, if you're like me, you have a bunch of old seed packs and you hate to throw them out because the seeds might be good, but you don't want to waste your time in the spring trying to sprout seeds that aren't any good. So now is a great time to proof your seeds. Take those old seed packs and just take a few and put them in a grow tray. I'm going to split this up. These are just fast food carry out restaurant trays. Uh, I'm just going to fill this with soil in four, four compartments and then we'll set some seeds in here and see how many of them are, are still viable. I've got some miracle Grow moisture control potting mix that I'm going to use in this tray. It's already damp. It's not quite wet enough. But it'll be... This is, this is what I normally use. And I just leave the soil in the trays all the time, even when they're not in use. Keep it moist so they're always ready to go. I don't use any fertilizer because I'm only going to leave the seeds in here long enough to germinate. And then I'm going to take them out and transfer them to pots. Usually takes, takes anywhere from three to seven days for most of the seeds to germinate. And I'm not doing any, no big, no large seeds, nothing like, um, nothing like squash or anything like that. Just, just the small seeds. And I'm not going to put in a lot of seeds either. I'm just for each type of seed I'm going to put in maybe well it depends on how many are in the pack. If the pack has hundreds of seeds in it, I'll put in maybe 10 of each. If there's only 25 seeds in there, I'll probably put in 5 just enough to get a we'll call it a non-statistical sample. Okay, that looks good. Let me go get some seeds. I've got four kinds of seeds here. I've got uh, two kinds of kale. This is spring kale. It says smooth. This is dwarf Siberian kale. And I've got Paris Island Kaz lettuce and some radishes. French breakfast radishes. These two are American seed. These two are from southern states. Now this one is packed for 2017, so it's already a couple of years old. There's a lot of seeds in these packs from southern states, so I'm going to put in, I'll put in about 20, just to make sure we have enough in there to get a, a good statistical sample. I'd like to see a germination rate of at least 
which is low, but they're old seeds. It looks like there might be more than 20 here. That was Spring Kale Smooth for 2017. This is going to be Dwarf Siberian Kale. It's also packaged for 2017. This has never been opened, so these might have a better germination rate. There are also a lot of seeds in this pack. They're very small. I'll go ahead and sow these. In the end. I think I got too many of those. But hey, putting them back in the package might be more trouble than it's worth. And then I have some Paris Island Cos Lettuce. This is packaged for, it says sell by 2000, December 2019. So these, I guess, were new for last season. There's a lot in here, but not nearly as many as the kale seeds. The ship is creaking! breakfast radishes and I'm planting these because I know these are good. I've recently germinated some of these about two, two or three weeks ago. So I know these will germinate and that works sort of as a check to make sure that uh, the conditions inside are okay. And I don't need many of these. I just need two or three to grow just so I know that I was close enough on moisture and temperature to get these to grow. I don't know why I dropped so many in one hole. Okay. And we'll just water these in and let it sit for five days. Well, I'll check in three days. Some of them may have started germinating in three days. And if not, I'll let them go another three days or so. Usually by, if you don't see anything germinating within a week, you're not going to get anything to germinate. I'm going to add a little bit of water because it feels dry to me. Water is soaked in. It looks good, so I'm going to cover this up, put it in a warm place, check it in a few days. In this other container, uh, these are not these are not seeds for testing. These are actually for growing. I've got some scarlet kale and Tom Thumb Lettuce. These are both from Baker Creek and these are actually seeds for next year so I would expect the germination rate on these to be really high. 
I don't know how many seeds are in here. Let's see what we got. The, uh, the Tom Thumb lettuce. Oh boy, there's like a million seeds in there. So if you want to grow a million Tom Thumb lettuce, get a pack from Baker Creek. I'm just going to plant about 20 of them. I'll just split this roughly in half. Should be easy to tell the plants apart once they sprout. Another pack, Scarlet Kale. Yeah, there's about a million seeds in here too. So, if you're looking to grow Scarlet Kale, and you want a million plants, try Baker Creek. soil feels a little dry too. And we'll let that soak in for a couple of minutes. Alright, I'll let the water soak in for a little while. I think we're good. Go ahead and cover this up, put it in a warm place too. Check back in three days, and if nothing sprouted, check back after about five to seven days. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do was transplant pot up some of my bok choy. Let me go get that. Here's the bok choy I started about two and a half weeks ago, maybe three weeks. I don't really know what the varieties are because I got these from Angie. Um, one of them she got at a Chinese market, so I, I don't even know what brand that was, and the other was some special hybrid she ordered online. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer these. I'm going to transfer 12 of them to 3 inch pots, some to give away, some to grow indoors, and then the other 12 I'm going to put out in the greenhouse. Isn't it nice to see something green when it's this cold outside? I managed to get the first bok choy plant out breaking it. It's got good root structure, good growth. I'm going to bury this deep in the pot and add a little soil on top and uh, it'll be ready to give away or put under the grow lights. So I won't bore you with potting up the rest of the bok choy but just thought you'd like to see that. It's nice to see something green in no end of November. We're not quite to Thanksgiving yet. We've still got about four days to go. What's today's date? 24. Today is the 24th of November. It's about 45 degrees out. The rain has stopped. And uh, the lettuce outside is doing fine. So I guess we'll get lettuce for Thanksgiving. So that's it for the video today.